Hello, beautiful humans. I've been traveling around a lot. I've been doing a lot of driving lately. And sometimes when I'm just driving around, I start getting these intuitions and these urges from my higher consciousness to share some more information with the community. Now, this time I wanna talk about past lives, parallel universes, and different incarnations. It's something that I've talked about and I've been really interested in learning about for many years. I've talked about it a lot on this YouTube channel. And there's always been this ongoing debate about whether or not we incarnate, whether or not we're incarnating into different bodies in parallel universes on other planets or in past lives. This was an ongoing debate that existed a lot in the environment I grew up in because I grew, I grew up in a very religiously indoctrinated environment. A very indoctrinated environment in two religions. One was the religion of Christianity and the other was the religion of statism. Statism is a religion where government is God. And Christianity is the religion where a third party deity father figure, a male father figure is God, which kind of intertwines itself into the religion of government because government kind of uh, ran all these marketing campaigns to kind of intertwine the two religions, like one nation under God. That's all religious brainwashing from the, the statism paradigm. So again, all throughout my life, do we incarnate into different bodies or do you go to heaven or hell when you die? This was always um, a, a big debate amongst people. So I don't believe that you go to heaven or hell when you die. I think that's all fear mongering. It's fear mongering. But what I do believe, and I'm going to explain more uh, confirmation that I have why I believe this. I believe that we incarnate. We are incarnating in different bodies, in different uh, time periods, in different parallel universes, and on different well, and or on different planets. You see, I believe like parallel universes are on other planets, or even possibly we are incarnating in different bodies, maybe even at the same time, but experiencing each incarnation subjectively. So it appears that it's separate. <laughs> Sorry, people trying to call me on my other phone while I'm vlogging. So I had an intuition and an urge to share something that I experienced while on ayahuasca that has to do with incarnations or parallel universes or past lives. When I was drinking ayahuasca down in the rainforest, down in Central America, one of my intentions that I set before I drank the ayahuasca was I wanted it to show me what I was doing in a parallel universe or what I was doing in another incarnation. For anyone who doesn't know, ayahuasca is basically liquid dimethyltryptamine. I'm sure everyone knows that who's been on my channel for a while, but if this is your first time ever hearing about something like this, dimethyltryptamine is a neurotransmitter that's found in all the plants all around the, the world. It's found already in your brain. Your, your brain produces it. It causes you to dream. It's basically like the portal to other dimensions. So you can drink this stuff too. It's in this, this, it's basically a tea or a brew called ayahuasca. It's basically just drinking liquid dimethyltryptamine. So I did this and then again, the shamans always would, would tell us um, that every time you drink ayahuasca, it's, it's a sacred ceremony and that you should always do it with a specific intention. So again, one of my intentions, I, I was like, hey, I wanna know what I was doing in other incarnations. And it showed me a vision of what I was doing in another incarnation. And I'm gonna describe it to you because it was really interesting to me and now I have this urge to share it with the community. So the vision started on another planet that I was incarnated on. 
And the incarnation that I had on this other planet was different than the incarnation I had on this planet in regards to how I, um, how I incarnated. On this planet, I incarnated through birth, through my parents got married and then my mom gave birth to me. That's how I incarnated on this planet. But on this other planet, the incarnation was different. I had been not birthed through the, the relationships of, of a mother and a father, but I had been genetically modified. They, they, uh, some organization that I was part of had genetically modified my body and then, or well, basically genetically modified another body, but you know, they took some of my DNA from, from this body that I have on earth and they spliced it with the DNA of these other humanoids that were on another planet and then they basically created a, a, a genetically engineered body, very similar to mine, but with, with these other genetic features so that I could um, fit in and survive on their environment. And then they sent my consciousness into this other body, deposited me on this other planet. And in my body on this other planet, it was kind of like the movie Waterworld. Remember the movie Waterworld with Kevin Costner? How uh, he, had, he had gills like be kind of behind his ears that could allow him to, to breathe underwater. Well, that's what I had on this other planet. This, this other planet was, um, the environment was very aquatic. So all the life forms were very, uh, they had aquatic features or amphibian type of features that would allow them to survive in a water dominated environment. So gills, we had gills, we had webbed webs in between our hands so that we could swim faster. We had webs in between uh, our toes. And we had like little, almost like little fins that would stick out on parts of our body, like a fish. And our skin was different. Our skin didn't, um, didn't look like human, the human skin that we see on planet Earth. It, it was more of a, a scaly kind of texture. And it was more of like a dark, no, not so much dark, more like a silverish, grayish, kind of blue tintish kind of color. And it was more of that of a reptile or a fish. And, but, but we, we looked mainly human on this planet. You know, we had a torso, a head, arms, legs, feet, hands, but with these slight genetic differences that allowed us to swim underwater faster, that allowed us to breathe underwater, that allowed us to survive in a water environment. So on this other planet, I remember there was, there was um, a giant body of water and it was separating two land masses. And there was these aquatic kind of humanoids living on both land masses. And they were, they were like about to go to war. It was like they were on the brink of a war. And there was a very, very similar kind of situation on that planet that's here that was here on planet earth it was basically an, an off-planet influence an extraterrestrial intervention had had infiltrated that planet and they had you know started creating these these propaganda campaigns to psychologically manipulate their consciousness and cause them to be divided and go to war against each other they had implemented a kind of slave matrix system Kind of like how on this planet we have the the federal reserve and their their slave money matrix that enslaves people with never-ending spiral of debt well they they were there was a similar thing happening on that planet where there was an outside force that was enslaving people and manipulating people and causing people to to divide amongst each other and go to war and the children on this planet they they were awake they knew what was happening and i remember i could see the children and I had a vision from, because I was, I was on one side of this body of water on one land mass and there was the other land mass on the other side of the water. And it showed me the vision of how the children on the other side, they had all like woken up and their consciousness had expanded and they were aware of exactly what was happening. But the older people on this planet, the adults, they were still so heavily indoctrinated. And these children over there, I could see them, they were trying to wake the people up and that's why I had incarnated on this other planet. That's why they spliced my DNA is and deposited me on that planet is because I was there and I was, I was 
speaking to these people. I was sharing information with these people and trying to wake these people up and snap them out, uh, them out of their, their coma that they were in. And uh, they had a, you know, I, and I remember I, I had, I had um, almost like some, some literature it, with, with me and it was all written in their language and I was sharing it with them. And that's what I was doing on this other planet. And it showed me this vision that I was incarnated on this other planet. DNA was, was spliced um, so that I could fit in and survive in the, the in this other environment. And I was basically there kind of like as an ambassador trying to wake these people up, trying to show these people what was really happening, trying to expand these, these people's consciousness and essentially like, like break them free from this bondage that they were in or break them free out of this, this false paradigm that they had been living in and try to save them from actually going to war with, with this other tribe that was on this other uh, landmass uh, on the other side of the water. And it showed me this vision in it, very, very crystal clear. It was very clear. And I knew, you know, it, this is what, um, what I had asked for. It's, it was the intention I set. And it, it was very interesting that the ayahuasca showed me, it showed me that vision. And it was, it's just very funny because it's like the exact same thing that I've always had an intuition to do on this planet, in this incarnation, in this body. I've always had intuitions and realizations or data downloads or whatever you want to call it that expanded my consciousness in a way to where I, from a very early age, I began seeing through the, the matrix. I began becoming aware of the brainwashing. It happened to me at first when I was 11 years old. I was in, I think I was in fifth grade um, when it happened and I started having these realizations that um, the, the indoctrination camp that my parents sent me to, which was a private school, I started having these realizations that it was all brainwashing, that there was something wrong with everything that these people were teaching. The, the teachers didn't really have all the answers, that they, there was something wrong. And I had those realizations at 11 years old. And I would always wonder to myself, like, why do I realize this? But the teachers that are decades older than me, they don't realize it. Why do I realize this? But my parents that are decades older, how come they don't realize it? How come they're still mindlessly regurgitating all this information that's being fed and shoved down their throat by this corporatized religious institution because that's what it was it was a big corporation they sent me to a corporation a private school corporation where they were trying to indoctrinate everyone with two different religions the religions of Christianity and the religion of statism and I know I, 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 I bash on Christianity a lot I want to make it very clear that I am a big fan of the teachings of Jesus I believe Jesus had no religion in fact, Jesus, the way I see him is exactly how I see myself, an anarchist. Jesus was hardcore anarchist. If you actually read what he was doing in the New Testament, there's passages about Jesus going into the money exchangers and flipping over their tables. Well, what is the, the money exchangers? Those are the banks, the central banks, the statists. The, the banks are part of the statist religion. The banks are like the temples of the statist religions. Jesus was an anarchist. He was anti-religion He was, or anti-corporatized religion. He was anti-religious um, establishment, anti-government religion. He was anti-central bank. He literally walked into the banks, into their temples, and started flipping over their tables. He went in there and started damaging their property. Like that's hardcore anarchist shit. So I wanna make it very clear that yes, I do bash on, on, on the corporatization of religious, inst of the Christianity um, religious institutions. Yes, I, I bash on them all the time, but I, I'm not trying to like, if you're a, a believer in Jesus and you claim that you're a Christian because you believe in Jesus, I'm not bashing on you at all. I'm just bashing on the, uh, the, the, the religious establishments that psychologically manipulate people and extract money from people. That's what I'm against. I'm against the establishment. I'm against the corporations. But anyways, I, I wanted to share that. I wanted to share that um, this, this is more confirmation to me that I do believe we are multidimensional beings, that we incarnate into other bodies through the pineal gland. I believe that incarnation is a real thing. I believe that we are infinite. I do not believe in this whole idea of being judged in this this father this male some third party male father figure is gonna like 
judge you after you die and send you to this lake of fire where you burn forever. I call bullshit on all that. I believe we are, we are immortal beings. And I believe that the, I, the, the true God is a, is a frequency, the true creative force of the universe, the, the consciousness um, that creates and renders reality. That's the, the real God. That's the God frequency or the God energy and that God energy flows through us. I don't believe that that God is this third party male. It's always it's always a male in, in the in the Christian religion, the Catholic religion, the Mormon. It's always he, God, he, the Father. It's all you know, I think that's all just part of the brainwashing. In fact I'm reading a book right now called DNA of the Gods, the Anunnaki creation of Eve and the 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 um, alien battle for humanity. I'm, I'm reading that book on this channel right now, and it talks a lot about this, about the indoctrination to place the male as superior to the female. All those videos are, uh, well, not all of them. I'm, I'm about, I'm a, I'm a little more than halfway through that book, but it talks about all this stuff. I find it very interesting, and I wanted to share that vision that I had while drinking liquid dimethyltryptamine down in the rainforest in Central America and how it showed me my visions of what I was doing in other incarnations on other planets. Let me know what you guys think. Have you guys ever uh, drank ayahuasca and had any kind of vision or had any kind of um, memories of past lives or memories of other incarnations? Let me know in the comments. I appreciate everyone in our community and I will see you guys in the next video.